Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm going to go through some common uh, Windows log searching techniques. Uh, we're working off of a domain controller in my lab, and we're just going to take it from there. Um, we're going to be working with 2008R2 as a baseline. Um, this will be a little bit different for 2003 or other operating systems. Um, but most people are going to be moving up to 2008R2 if they're not already there by now. So let's take a look. And take a look. So we're going to launch the server manager. So there's several ways we can get to the logs. Um, the server manager is excellent as far as it has many other related systems that you're going to want to take a look at to correlate with the logs. However, if you just want to get to the logs, administrative tools, viewer, or bwr.msc. Beyond that, in the server manager, which is also located in most 2008R2 installations, you will have the server manager icon in the lower left corner. Um, however, if it does not up, you can right click and say manage off of the computer object, and it will do the same thing. So, uh, event logs are under diagnostics and viewer. We have a couple of different tabs here. Let's talk about what they are and which ones are useful and which ones are not. Uh, to begin with, uh, custom views are going to depend upon what roles have been uh, installed on the server. Um, although you can, um, there are certain areas that we're going to cover in the, um, the server manager of the top level under roles, where you can also find these logs. But certain um, certain roles, you can find all the logs specific to that role right here under server roles. So this is actually pretty cool for certain things. Um, like, you know, if we're here, we're on a domain controller. So if we were having a problem with DNS replication, we can just click right onto the DNS server, and bam, everything's already filtered. Now, we're going to get into the raw logs where you can pretty much do everything that this is doing uh, as far as looking for things, specific sources, specific event IDs, or specific um, criticality. But this is nice in that it's already prepackaged for you. So if you're having a problem with that, Active Directory, you can get on the Active Directory DC, you can find all of the logs specific to that role right here. Custom views. Um, so Windows logs, let's take a look at that. See most of what you're needing to be looking up. Um, system covers the Windows core system. Right, so that's where you're going to find um, anything that is to do with basically the Windows kernel or anything that has to do with just the OS level type functions uh, will most likely be in system. Application stuff is going to be pretty much everything else. Security you rarely have to go into unless you're having some sort of, you know, explicit security problem, but generally speaking, I hardly ever see anything really pop up in here that's really very interesting. So, let's talk really quickly about filtering, which is super important. So as you can see here, we've just got a ton of information of everything is okay, essentially. And we can go into each one, but you see the service has entered the running state. This is like an alarm going off saying everything is okay, which is really not useful at all for troubleshooting. So what we want to do whenever you hop onto a troublesome system, let's go ahead and click on filter current log. And at the least, check these three, error, critical, and warning. Okay, all right. So now we've got much more important information about actual things that went wrong. First thing you want to do is understand, you know, where you look at the time because you'll see, most likely we'll see a view like this, but as you can see, uh, I'm running this um, video. It's currently the 19th. Uh, so all of these errors were from quite a few days ago, some from more than a month ago. So they're really not pertinent to anything that might have gone wrong with the system currently. So as you can see, you know, immediately we see that there's not a whole lot that actually is recorded in the system log. Same thing with a flyer for application for that log. And we start to see much more useful information. Here I've got some current issues with Windows Update services. 
Um, beyond that, filter current log, if you uh, are actually looking for a specific um, keyword, it will pre-populate certain keywords. Um, also for event sources, sometimes we are looking for specific things. So for example, uh, if this were a Zen app server or something like that, or a Citrix server, there would be some Citrix sources uh, here that basically part of the event uh, ID is, uh, is what source it came from. So if you were looking for a specific system, um, you, could check, you could filter it by the source, so you're only looking um, at that source. And that's basically what's happening on the custom view section under the server roles is they're filtering it by the source. Beyond that, application and service logs, um, really don't get into these a whole heck of a lot. If you guys focus on the Windows logs and the custom views, um, as far as gathering the information, um, if you do filter the current log, which you always should, uh, so we have, say, a ticket opened up for this server and something's going wrong, at the least, if you can filter the current log for those three conditions and then save the filtered log file, right here you can see as. And let's just save it to the desktop. Hit one, two, three, four, five. Important that when this is only going to be on 2009 or 2 and above, um, this uh, file type should be EBTX other options and for other ones or for older um, like 2003 systems you may have this option so in that case just save it as a CSV or whatever you can get out um, but then save the file and uh, so you would say no display information okay all right and you can just take that file which is pretty small one meg. Once we have the file saved to the desktop, you can simply attach that ticket, it's only one meg in size, or pass it along to the engineer. Um, and again, uh, as far as actually um, troubleshooting, you know, uh, searching uh, against an event ID based on and a certain technology. So, again, if this were, for an example, Zen app, Zen app, event ID. One, two, three, four, five. You're going to get a lot more specific information about what the possible cause of the error is uh, than simply um, trying to Google search, say, uh, some you know some of the error messages that pop up to the user. Uh, generally speaking, this will get under the covers way quicker than that kind of approach. So that's it, quick and dirty. Um, we will cover event log tracking for a couple other different technologies, so you guys can just hop to each one and kind of familiarize at your own pace. But uh, as I'll say on all these, if you don't know where the log files are, Google it and you'll find that, and that will lead you to the log files, and that will generally lead you to the answer. So, that being said, good night all.